Hi, my name is Saro. I'm the User Experience Manager at WaveDNA. I'm going to show you how to produce and perform drone patterns in Ableton Live using Liquid Rhythm. Liquid Rhythm features an exciting new integration system for Ableton Live users. Using the Max for Live interface, Liquid Rhythm's powerful MIDI editing tools can be used to directly create and edit MIDI patterns inside of Ableton Live's clips. Note that this system requires your copy of Ableton Live 9 to have Max for Live. The first step is to run the Clip Integration Installer. After the install is complete, run Ableton Live. Click on the Max for Live category, expand the Max MIDI Effects subcategory, and double click to load the Liquid Rhythm plugin into a MIDI track. I'm running a beta copy of Liquid Rhythm, which is why this interface may look different than yours. Next, I'm going to click on the Drums category and load a drum rack into the MIDI track. We're going to use Liquid Rhythm as a clip editor for live, so I'm going to set it up beside Ableton Live so that we can see the contents of my clip change while I use Liquid Rhythm. Double click to create an empty clip in live. Liquid Rhythm's editor now shows me the contents of this clip, and the names of all the instruments in my drum rack are automatically applied to my track headers. Any pattern I create in Liquid Rhythm will be instantly inserted into my Ableton Live clip. So the quickest way to get started is to use this list. It contains one bar patterns that can be used as the foundation for your beat. The patterns in this list are all ones that make sense for the instrument in the bar that I've selected. So for example, for a kick drum track, I'll see one bar patterns appropriate for kick drums. To get started, I'll hit play on my clip. I'll then select the first bar of my kick drum instrument and then choose a pattern from this list. It gets inserted into my arranger and immediately updated in my Ableton Live clip. I'll do the same for my snare track, hi-hats, and toms. So by inserting one bar note patterns in this way, I can really quickly develop an idea in Ableton Live. So here's a quick overview of what we're looking at here. I'm going to zoom in. Each of these diamonds is a MIDI note. The bar above the diamond is the velocity for that note. The colorful shapes below the notes are our visualizations of MIDI. They provide a way of grouping notes together according to their shapes and colors. One powerful way we can use these colors is by adjusting the velocity of notes according to the colors below them. The eighth note downbeats of this pattern are denoted by the dark blue and the offbeats are visualized by the light blue. Using these sliders, I can adjust their velocities together. Notice how the velocities of the notes are also adjusted in my Ableton Live clip. Here's another way the grouping scheme works. So far, all the patterns I've used are made up of eighth notes. An eighth note looks like a single diamond with a purple bucket below it. I want to bring some sixteenth notes and variations into my hi-hat pattern, so I'll need to use this panel here. There are eight columns here. If you imagine slicing a bar up into eight pieces, each column corresponds to each one of those eighth pieces of the bar. The blue buckets contain two notes in the space of an eighth of a bar, sixteenth notes. Clicking on one causes that note group to be inserted in that location in my bar. The red buckets contain three notes, triplets. In this way, I can punch in a mix of eighths, sixteenths, and triplets very quickly. A great way to improvise an experiment is by using the regroover and the randomizer. The regroover shifts around the groove in your pattern. To use it, select a few bars and press the arrow buttons. The randomizer generates a rhythm pattern, and it's generally appropriate for the instrument that you've selected. It's particularly great to use on percussion tracks for instant variations. Notice that all the patterns that I'm generating are automatically applied in my Ableton Live clip. In my workflow, I like to work with many clips at a time. So if I like the way this beat sounds, I'll duplicate this clip and continue working on the copy.
Remember that Liquid Rhythm works as a clip editor for live, so it'll always update itself with the notes in whichever clip I select. You can also add and edit notes directly in the arranger. To do so, activate note edit mode and draw. Note that many of these controls are MIDI mappable. This allows you to control liquid rhythm with a range of hardware controllers. I'm going to do an improvised jam session to show you all of these MIDI effects in action. I'm going to set up a track in Ableton Live to record all of my changes. I'm going to be looping over one bar in one clip the whole time, but I'm going to be constantly editing it, so I want to record all of my changes as one long performance. I'm going to build the foundation of my rhythm using these rhythm patterns in this list. introduce variations of 8th notes and 16th notes using this panel. some random rhythm patterns here. I'm going to make some edits to these patterns directly in my arranger. I'm going to select a few bars and apply a shift to my groove. how everything that I do is immediately updating my clip in Ableton Live. audio and MIDI recordings of the performance I just made using Liquid Rhythm in Ableton Live. Later on, I can refer to this performance and edit out pieces that I want to use for my song. Using Liquid Rhythm as a clip editor for Ableton Live provides a really powerful way to create, edit, and remix your ideas on the fly. Thanks for watching.